Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Decisive Campaigns or Den Offensive. I'm here with another bonus episode brought to you by my Patreon supporter, Pumnarau. I'll um, continue along and see what I can do. Let's get that minimap. Alright, there we go. What if I were to go at them? Doesn't get a whole lot better. Well, I certainly do want to... move certain units and again I need to fall back here a bit I do have the road but barely I also want to see what I can do against, you know, potentially attacking there, but, uh... I also need to move other units from the 12th up there. It is a tough battle there regardless, but, uh... And of course we just have this one narrow road. Right. They've put Team Long there. Hmm. Let's attack from two sides. Couldn't take it. Meaning I still have I still have a few other units, but come on man. Well Getting them from that position certainly wasn't easy, and then... It can't be that bad, can it? Hmm. Well, let's see. I mostly lost a lot of half tracks there. Not a lot of infantry, but if I want to get through, I kind of have to start trying, I suppose. If I attack this from two sides, like that has to be good. Seems like they got some support.
What good is it going to do me to move that way? There's Verbomont all the way out there for five points. But for these units, it's really far. Whereas going for Spa and then Sprimont might give me a better outlook. Suffice to say, moving in this general direction clearly failed. And I'm much better off moving them here and then just holding there. I cannot take this road. Um... can move the 18th uh, folks grenadier quite well here get them towards trois ponts i come in this part of the 99th and circled gotten into the city those guys are likely to try and attack again <clears throat> this is just fields Something as seemingly trivial as wiping out those AA units might actually help. Um, want to go at that city. the artillery is This far, that means they're not going to cut it. Can't use a card.
Hmm. One problem, in a sense, is I really want to go after the city. Three on one, and then dig in. Again, they have a lot of units coming in there. What's this? It's an airborne engineer. regret this. Didn't take the city. Though at least the casualties were about even. Let's uh, keep these These guys moving too. It's um Quite a bit of moving, naturally. I'd like to keep particular units in particular locations somewhat, but it's a, a bit challenging. <clears throat> now, at least I can try to get those guys back. These can hold there. Although that's not a particularly great position for defending. I do think and these guys should remain there though. And just gonna keep tabs on how things are going, trying to break these guys and stuff like that.
I have no units that can get there now, so I also... have no reason to assume that's a good idea. Uh, these guys are following along the track. I've already moved all of those, so we're pretty much at the point where I have nothing more to move. Um, when it comes to cards, I want to work my way towards getting this. So. I just get one replacement. For now. <clears throat> And finish a turn. I mean, technically, we're a lot further currently, or we've taken a lot more territory than the Germans historically did, although we haven't actually reached the furthest point like the Germans did. So it's uh, pretty interesting. Another thing that I find pretty interesting is that I'm pretty much the only person that's you know, playing this this far into the game. Sometimes I'm a bit uh, surprised that there's like really no other YouTubers that are going the extra mile in these games. There are actually a lot of um, World War II strategy games being released generally. And like 90% of those don't get a lot of active content on YouTube. It's a lot of guys. Dang it. <clears throat> Those airstrikes do it hard. Kind of looks like they're on the retreat a bit there. But they also have new forces making it difficult. Hmm. Certainly is interesting. Like, they, they definitely seem to be pulling back towards open now. Out there, at least. And... This is... Pretty far south. Although... Has all this empty territory where both me and the AI have barely anything. And now there isn't, a, I can't even see what the attack there is. It's against the filter sets. Oh, yeah, it does seem to be capable of movement there. <coughs> Trying to break out. They only lost things there. There too. These units here, well, they actually do were capable of crossing. Uh, 
good. Another bunch of tanks trying to get out, but failed. This is above Troppen. They're crushing the tanks into my infantry, but I'm in the city, so. So quite crazy. I lost eight tanks. They attack with a thousand units. It's interesting that that's really what they want to be doing. I mean, it sucks for me losing these tanks, but. All right, they're, they're making a, a bit of a problem out of it. Fuck. Oh boy. I'm gonna need to push back those units there too. They're trying to break out. I Enemies doing a lot of stuff here too. We're training from Saint Hubert there. Seems like they're trying to form a new defensive line around Eupen. Mm, and then they're trying to get down here. Okay, well, fair enough. I encircled a lot of units and I really need to put the squeeze on them. They might even try to, to do air droppings and stuff like that. Where is this? Further south, I, uh, I don't have these guys around it. Hmm. Problem is, is that I can't really sustain any serious defense there around La Roche. They have that uh, locked up quite well. It's a bit tricky there. With a bit, I mean quite a, quite a lot of tricky. <laughs> Uh, I'm also somewhat afraid that relatively soon there will be a lot of places where again I might need to be put on where I might need to go on defense um, because the enemy is getting more and more units and I'm getting more and more exhausted it's one of the tricky parts of this game. But it does make it a bit more realistic, which I guess in that sense is also nice. I mean, the axis didn't send the chance. Not even the smallest bit. Mm-hmm. Access losses in terms of power, that's just so much. Three nine thousand three hundred and six. It's kinda like a five to one losses in power ratio. I do like me some filter sets and I can get a new unit. Uh very pleased to that. Oof. Seems to be something weird going on with the map. Uh, is it fixed now? <laughs> it seems like it. Okay, well, let's start here because um, we certainly have some units that need to get to marching mode now that uh, we've cleared out the enemy in this sector
Well, except for those. But. Same applies for all of these. I'll take the lower route. There are plenty of forces in the northern route as well, so. Mm. I think either of those can probably use a card. I'll just uh, activate it now because uh, I'm going to move these straight up because I can. do you have under your control again it's only the FGB which is the Fuhrer Grenadier Brigade okay Now, let's clear that out. Don't want them to escape. Frees up quite a few units as it is. Because it means that both the 276th Fox Grenadier and the 352nd Fox Grenadier are both completely clear to go. And. That's pretty nice. Also means I can get these verifers out of there. I guess for them to move by train like that, it's a pretty good bet. Uh, certainly does take a while, but in a sense, I guess they'll have to get resupplied on the march there. Movement uh, situation is terrible. But they've been uh, pretty much in combat non stop since the start, so I get it.
they uh, they're close to the Jung Leinster depot though so I'm gonna wait a bit on attacking that I again kind of feel like making the easier <laughs> decisions first And I mean, this rail leads me to this, and then they can move. I guess it's potentially better than moving along that road, although for certain units, I'm just kind of don't really have that much of a choice. What do you have under your belt? those two well they're gonna move so and do have forward elements from both units already moving up The game claims hmm, it might be that unit. Yeah, indeed. This armored infantry battalion looks super tough. Tenth armored. I can't imagine that they'd be a joke. All of these left their tanks and are without fuel. Uh, so that should make things a bit easier there. You can already start moving. No need to keep it there either. And the same applies to these. These forces will never be able to get there. And I might just as well move them forward. There's nothing that needs repairing there. Ah, okay. They do have this visible now. Let's keep going. Okay. I'm gonna... Um with both of those because hmm. um, I certainly am a bit afraid that uh, about this like these here 
And the fact that La Roche is now cut off. I can probably try and get a new Felder Suts there. But... The AI, the AI got a lot of stuff. Which units here are a bit easier to deal with than <laughs> none of them? Many of those are also still doing fine. But wow. <laughs> really. What a nightmare. Certainly seems like they're trying to put up a new defense. It might Relieve me some, although not even too sure about that. For them to leave only this in the city at least allows me to take the city. But this place is turning to become a bit of a mess. Actually, almost all of these places seem to be becoming a bit of a mess, but... At least they can bear tricks, means this is empty. At this point. Lost four units with that Felder sets, but I did get Palisol worth five points. Certainly not the smoothest ride. Right, I'm going to wrap things up though as I see that it is time. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, or subscribe. I am um, feeling somewhat good, I guess, about getting those five more points. But, man... It's a long way still to the muse. And it's even a long way still to sell.
But we'll get there, maybe. <laughs> like I said, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.